Holy Spirit, for giving us purpose and helping us to keep searching and wanting to find a purpose. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Friends, once upon a time, A friend of mine made this statement. If there is no creator and no God, there is ultimately nothing left except despair and absurdity. But what if there is a God? What if you searched in the right places and ask the right questions. Well, that makes all the difference because of its nature of grace. We can search and seek out the God of the universe. In doing so, we find genuine meaning in life. The psalmist said, I call to remembrance my song in the night. I meditate within my heart and my spirit makes delight. My spirit makes diligent search. Psalm 77 verse 6. Beloved, are you making a diligent search to know the God who is there The good people of Berea searched the scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. Acts chapter 17 verse 11. The writer of Proverbs told us to search for wisdom. Ask for hidden treasures. Proverbs chapter 2 verse 4. In Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13 we read and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Yes. Because of his nature of grace you and I can search and seek out the God of the universe. 
Remember, genuine searching is a sign of wanting to know and experience more reality, more meaning and purpose, and more of God and of Jesus. There should never come a time when you are not seeking to know him better and experience him more as you seek him, God will bestow new and fresh meaning to your life. Much of life is driven by our desires. But how do we know which desires are best for us? Some are clearly harmful. The ability to discern and control our desires come from seeking and searching to know God better. Psalm 37 verse 4 says, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Many people misunderstood or misunderstand this verse. It does not say that if we delight ourselves in the Lord, he will fulfill all our desires, our desires. No. He will do something better. He will give us the desires we ought to have, the desires that will please him and bring us genuine fulfillment. How do we delight in the Lord? It involves actively searching. A person who delights in roller coasters will study the biggest ones. Make lists, watch videos, and take every opportunity to write one. One who delights in astronomy will study the wonders of this cosmos. A young man who delights in a girl will seek her out and get to know her better. Delighted in the Lord is much the same. We enjoy learning more about him through the natural creation of nature and the special creation of scripture. We become interested in understanding the Bible and becoming better informed about doctrine and theology. We release our personal times of devotional study and prayer as we enjoy fellowship with the Almighty. We find ourselves singing and praising God through the day because of the sheer joy of it. This provides balance and bearing for our life. Friends, it's very important for you and I to understand that in Acts chapter 8, the Bible says, As the champion Enoch traveled in his chariot, he was reading Isaiah 53, and Philip ran up to him with a question. Do you understand what you're reading? Acts 8, 30. The man answered with two questions. How can I, unless someone guides me? Acts chapter 8, 31. Then he went on to ask a question about the passage. I ask you, of whom does the prophet say this? Of himself or some other man? 8, Acts 8, 30, 4. He was reading Isaiah 53. Starting with the facts of Isaiah 53, Philip preached. Christ to the champion, led him to saving faith 
and baptize him. Philip was cut away, but Enoch went on his way rejoicing. Acts 8.39 His searching led to rejoicing, and he became the first known person to take the gospel to Africa. My dear brother, my dear sister, know that searching leads to experiencing deeper meaning in life. Are you ready to experience that? Then keep searching. Thanks for joining me on this morning devotion. And may God richly bless you. Have a wonderful day.